Scottsdale. I never thought it would snow here. Thunderstorms around the valley. Never expected it like this in Arizona. Hail hitting local drivers. Something amazing that we get to see hardly ever. A wild day of weather that's got everyone talking. Oh my God, this is spectacular. CBS 5 News has team coverage of this winter blast right now. Well, the video and all the pictures keep coming into our newsroom hours after a one-two punch of nasty winter weather across our state. Everything from snow to hail to rain came down today, and our crews covered the valley. You also did a good job sharing your pics with us. Check this out. It might look like snow, but it's actually grapple. You can see it clearly on the hood of that vehicle that's near Central and Thomas this afternoon. Grapple is also known as soft hail. We saw it fall in many parts of the valley today. And hail and snow were falling in other parts of the valley. Check this out, including North Scottsdale. Look at this, a treacherous commute late this afternoon for folks on the 101 near Indian Bend. Traffic really had to slow down, and the snow completely covered the Diamondback Spring Training Complex, otherwise known as Salt River Fields. And these people right here, they don't seem to mind the change in the weather. A lot of folks, a lot of kids taking some time to play in the snow or whatever you wanted to call it today. Some had snowball fights, even a few making snow angels. And leave it to the dogs right here. They certainly don't seem to mind the weather this afternoon. This whole video of the slush is from 12th Street and Glendale. Pretty incredible, and we have team coverage tonight. Greg Argos is live in Scottsdale with more on the snow. Adam Longo is looking over your pictures, and will share some of them with us. Well, we start with Chief Meteorologist Chris Dunn with more on this crazy weather day. Chris? This evening, Catherine, we mentioned snow and valley in the same sentence last night, and it certainly did come true. And what we had in the valley was kind of a, a hybrid type of snow. What we have in the mountains right now is legitimate snow still going on over the high country just above the rim, uh, just to the north of Payson. That is sliding down to the south, so places like Sholo and Pine Top, you'll still have a little bit of snow left over, but for the valley, this is pretty much over. Gold Canyon, you had some of that snow earlier today. Cindy uh, sent in that picture. Linda from Queen Valley sent in this picture of snow covering the palm trees. North Scottsdale, Bill Foster, hey, what are you doing? Get in that hot tub, and there he is, getting in the hot tub in North Scottsdale. <laughs> Yarnell, which is north of Wickenburg, they had regulation snow up there, enough to stick the ruler in, and plenty of snow up to the north uh, in the higher terrain, above three to 4,000 feet. That's where you had a lot of snow. Here in the valley, just kind of that hybrid hail, grapple, rain mix of a slushy snow that uh, stuck to some surfaces. Thursday, a totally different deal. Plenty of sun, though, though staying chilly with a high tomorrow of 58 degrees. A far cry from what folks in parts of Scottsdale experienced earlier today. That's where yeah, Chris, you know, normally when Arizona, when we're talking about winter weather, we're talking about warm winter weather, but you can see here in Scottsdale, that is anything but where snow, well, snow is still covering the ground here in Scottsdale. It's snowing in Arizona. Not that uncommon in Arizona's high country, but here in the valley, it's pretty rare. So Declan Skaggs, his brother, and his cousin followed snow rule number one. When there is white stuff on the ground, you better prepare for battle. We're having a snowball fight, and uh, I think I win. And with much of North Scottsdale covered, the Salt River field sprinkled with snow, Declan wasn't the only one enjoying this winter weather. And I saw all the snow, so I just got off the freeway and came here to play with the snow. And after 23 years living in Scottsdale, never seen snow, now I just built my first one. And besides, a snowball fight sure beats fighting traffic on the freeways. The drivers aren't used to it. They're slamming on their brakes. No, you're not looking at the New Jersey Turnpike. This is Loop 101, admittedly beautiful, but backed up. They're scared up there. Yeah. It was really hard to drive up there with them. I got off. Look at that. That's unbelievable. So Nick Nikas made sure to get proof of the weather turning his backyard white. I've lived here for about 13, 14 years now, and I've seen it snow three times here, but I've never seen it stay on the ground. So it was a little weird. Most of all, we've seen it like... 10 years out here. Snapping some video knowing all too well the evidence would soon disappear. Welcome to Arizona. I mean, it's the weirdest climate you'll ever find. And Nick couldn't be more accurate. Weird is right, of course, now we have the snow this weekend, this Saturday. We're expecting temperatures in the 60s with plenty of sun. For live here in Scottsdale, Greg Argos, 
CBS 5 News. Thanks, Craig. Even though it looked an awful lot like snow, Chris and other meteorologists confirmed much of the white stuff that we saw today here in the city was actually grapple. As we mentioned, the word means snow pellets or soft hail. So today's slushy substance was a combination of hail, snow, and rain. All right, whatever you want to call it, don't yell at the TV at home with us right now. <laughs> it's not something folks here in Phoenix are used to seeing that often. One thing's for sure, today's blast wintry weather has everyone talking. For people that have lived here all their lives to see it, they don't know what to do with it. Nor do they know how to drive in it. It's cool, man. You don't see these at all. At all around here. Well, we found lots of folks stopping along the side, uh, along the side of the road, like this gentleman right there, to take photos and even make snowballs. Some kids were saying that they had never held snow before in their lives. Well, Apache Junction got a dose of the slush today. Take a look. It was over everything. That slush covered the ground and... Of course, it was responsible for some slippery roads and dangerous driving conditions. And here's a look at what's happening in the White Mountain. From Sholo, check out that whiteout. The conditions up there, wow. Thanks to Eric Neitzel for sending this video to us. You can see the area getting hit there and getting hit hard. And heading over to Sunrise Park Resort now, and a great day to enjoy the fresh powder. That is exactly what folks did there. But for the people who live up in that area, Clearing out their driveway, it was a chore. Cars were buried pretty deep in that snow. The snow is what canceled classes up at NAU. Most of the snow in Flagstaff stopped falling early this morning, but we've heard reports of up to five inches of it in the city. Road crews are working 12-hour shifts trying to get those roads clear. And in Tucson, can you believe this? People there can't stop talking about the storm they got. The snow fell heavy and it fell hard at times. Several morning flights to Tucson's airport were diverted because of that wintry weather. And in the middle of all this crazy weather today, an injured hiker found himself stuck up on Piestua Peak and had to be rescued. The 18-year-old man slipped and fell while hiking and fractured his ankle. He couldn't get down the mountain on his own, so crews had to use a helicopter to bring him down to safety. Phoenix firefighters say that the weather, well, it made this rescue a bit tricky. As we got to the top and we started to actually affect the rescue using the helicopter, we experienced a large amount of snow. Uh, and with the uh, added wind from the rotor wash and the snow, it, it added a certain degree of challenge to the rescue, which we're not really used to here in Phoenix. Now, that hiker was taken to a hospital and remains in stable condition. Fire crews say they believe the wet weather definitely led to the slippery and dangerous conditions up on the mountain. Well, not only did this surprise winter storm catch many of you by surprise, it had you out snapping pictures. From Tucson to Tempe and Cape Creek to Kingman, we've been showing off the photos that you've posted on our CBS 5 Facebook page. CBS 5's Adam Mongo is in snapshots. Yeah, Catherine, the viewers have been sending us in a ton of pictures on Facebook, on Twitter, through email, through our website. I was actually out in north central Phoenix, north, uh, a little earlier today. I talked to some kids. I talked to some parents. They had never even seen snow, much less held it in their hands. And as you're going to see, they tried to make the most of it. When the snow, grapple, hail, whatever you want to call it, when it started, it came in quick and dusted the ground here in Scottsdale and north central Phoenix, even more here in Cave Creek. Kids showing off their snowy treats with a smile. Some outside taking photos in short sleeves. That is <laughs> cold. Peggy Rosario sent us this pic. A fierce-looking manicure clutching a menacing ball of ice to hurl at unsuspecting passers-by. Plenty of you still needed to head out from home or head back to home, so you hopped in your car. A couple of shots here from the Loop 101 in Scottsdale. Heavy traffic, white roads, and drivers snapping pictures. The Facebook comments weren't kind to you. Wide shots revealed a winter wonderland from Scottsdale here, and another shot aimed at the Superstition Mountains, taken by a professional shutter bug. Not exactly pool weather here at the Talking Stick Resort. When enough of the white stuff had hit the ground, it was clearly snowman time. Tiny snowmen, Phoenix Coyote snowmen, purple hat-wearing snowmen, and really big, cuddly snowmen here in Tucson at the Accenture Match Play Tournament. They were sledding down the hills of Salt River Fields in Scottsdale just three days from their first spring training game, and the complex is covered. Don't tell Betty in Scottsdale it's not snow, or you might end up in her pool. And when the white stuff moved out, the rainbow moved in. These two shots from Scottsdale again at Salt River Fields and Talking Stick. And this double rainbow from Alice Casapio from her driveway in Chandler. 
Now, even if you don't have any PS5, and take a look at so many other of the pictures that we got that didn't have the time uh, to include in that story. And if you're so inclined to have time tonight, go outside. Why not build a grapple man? More power to you if you can do that, because I guarantee you, no one outside of the valley, outside of Phoenix or Arizona, you might find 20 people in the whole country who know what a grapple man is. Catherine? Yeah, and if they're able to do that, send us a picture of that as well. For sure. Great job with all those photos. Thanks, Adam. And please, keep those pictures coming. We'd love to see more of them. Just upload them on Facebook, Twitter, or our free website, cbs5az.com. And that is where you can see a pretty awesome slideshow of some of those great pictures from around our state. Well, this is a day that the jury has been waiting.